Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new video. This is Top Football Club. My name is Chris Rodriguez. Please consider subscribing. If you haven't already done so, give us a thumbs up. Let's get to 100 likes. And of course, this video is about Tottenham. Tottenham Spurs winning another match. This is a full-time review. I wanted to do this. Um, I wanted to make this video because this is a legitimate, a legitimate good process that the Spurs are doing away from Kane releasing that player selling them away the a top top player in their history you can argue that he's one of the best or or the best player they've ever had um and it seems like Ange Postacoglu hasn't uh really sweated it too much like he's been just you know working things out trying players trying to reach Charlison uh, at the front as a nine of course he takes them out you know, in the last few games, early in the game, in the in the second half, 50, 52 minutes. And it turns out that the team still does well. Now, can Reed Charlison be that player for Tottenham? Can he become that Kane? I think he has the capabilities. I don't know that he has the personality that Kane had before, meaning I don't know that he is willing to just work for the team and sometimes not score. But he's certainly done a tremendous job you know, as far as the time he plays. Now, Ange Postacoglu, man, you got to give it to him. It, you know, he's been doing a terrific, terrific job. Now, today, goals by Madison at the 17-minute and Kulicheski at the 65th or 63rd uh, minute or so. And uh, just Tottenham really just not trotting, but doing what they have to do. Of course, you know, Born Bournemouth is not a, a top team. They're not going to finish top four, top five. They're not going to be in that contingency for the title. But still these are matches you have to do what you have to do liverpool with all their weapons beat them three nil now you go out here and beat them two nil and, and you know you do what you have to do and that's part of being a top club is when you have time and when you have to do certain things you gotta get the job done no matter what so the spurs do it get it done again great game by the new sign in james madison Dejan Kulusevsky, another great job. Song, another great match, even though he didn't score. He could have scored, but the captain of the Spurs did a tremendous job. Bisuma as well, good, good job. Saar, you know, and even this um, this Van de Ven, new signing as well as a center back. He's been doing his thing. And of course, Vicario is a goalkeeper. Romero, the Argentinian. Poro, you know, Udogi, who actually came out with an injury at the, uh, you know, and we'll have to see what happens with him. But he he ended up being injured and we'll, we'll see what happens now. Also, Lo Celso coming in in the second half, getting it done. Uh, you know, just a tremendous match all around. Tremendous, just dominance by the Spurs. Dominance, dominance, dominance. All the stats go in their favors. I mean, shots on target, shots, uh, overall shots, uh, ball possession, expected assists. You know, all that stuff just went to their side and and uh, just a tremendous, tremendous job, man. Really, I'm, I'm, I'm really, you know, I wasn't a Tottenham or a Spurs follower, really, when it came to, to watching football. But you have to admire this team and how, you know, everything that they've been doing. They get scrutinized all the time, you know, for being Spurs. But it doesn't matter. What it is, is at this point in time, three weeks into the season, Three weeks into the Premier League season, and they are, as of right now, of course, momentarily first in the Premier League with seven points. Now, of course, all the other teams have to play. You know, you got Liverpool, Newcastle, you got Manchester City, Arsenal, everybody else that needs to be playing. But I know this is just momentarily, but at the end of the day, it just reflects that they came out of the gate with the dog mentality. I always talk about this, dog mentality, and hopefully uh, other teams, Newcastle, Arsenal, Hopefully they come out like that as well. But shout out to Spurs getting it done and, uh, you know, just just performing the way they need to. And this, that's the bottom line. You have to just go out there and win the games you have to win. There's going to be tough games for Spurs, of course. Uh, let me just check right, real quick, you know, what is looking like the, the schedule. So the next match, again, these are these are games that the Spurs have to get through. You know, they're going to play against Fulham next week, next uh Tuesday, that's for the EFL Cup. So next Tuesday, they got a match. They're going to have to win that one to, to keep going. And, of course, next week for the Premier League against Burnley, that's a match they can win. Against Sheffield United, that's a match. A little bit tougher, but a match they could definitely win. And then after that comes the Derby, the London Derby versus Arsenal. So we'll see what happens. And even after that against Liverpool, so it's going to get tougher. And then Luton Town, so it's going to balance each other out. But the next few games, 
they definitely have to win in order to get the deal done again my name is chris rodriguez doing this full-time review of tottenham bournemouth match incredible match by Ange Postacoglu's side we'll see you next time thank you so much for watching bye-bye